Hey y'all, it's Susan with Susan's Country Living. I've lost my, losing my voice again. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm participating in the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. So I'm trying to use things up in our pantries and freezers, things that we've preserved and, and put away uh, back in the spring and the summer. So tonight, it's one of those meals. I've got a smoked chicken that my husband smoked a few months ago we have them shrink wrap them stick them in the freezer i wrap them in some parchment paper and foil i just put it in my little toaster oven there on about oh 275 to 300 and just let it warm up and it's just like it came off the smoker also i've got some um white beans i canned some dry white beans this past summer and so I've got some of those cooking. I have some okra spears from my harvest this summer that I froze in water and they've been in the freezer and my neighbor gifted me a bunch of green tomatoes. We had um, a bad, bad hard freeze this past weekend. It got down to 18, 17, 18 and we can grow tomatoes down here in the fall so he picked all his tomatoes because they're not there's no way they're gonna make it so i have a whole bunch of them so we're gonna do some fried green tomatoes tonight so i'm going to show you how i do that it's really simple um i've got some oil in a pan back here and i'm just going to turn it on and let it get hot i've got some cornmeal seasoned it with salt pepper and garlic powder some flour, some buttermilk. I'm gonna be making some cornbread. Um, I got my butter melting for that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've washed my tomatoes and I'm gonna slice them, oh, a little more than a fourth, but not quite a half inch. I'm gonna start and just slice off that little, just a little bit that was on the end there. And I'm going to slice them about that thick. And we'll get these sliced up. Look how, look how beautiful that is. Now some of them, we're getting the blush on them. Um, and they're going to turn red. So we just set those on the cabinet. And let them turn red and we'll enjoy those. And that'll go to the compost. So the way I do this, if you don't have buttermilk, you can use do an egg wash. Works just as well. Put it in flour. So I'm gonna put it in the flour. We coat it with the flour. And I've got a rack here on a pan. So I'm gonna do all these up. And we're gonna flour it. It really doesn't stick to the outside very well. This flat is so harsh in here. And we're gonna dredge in our buttermilk. If you didn't have buttermilk, you could add a tablespoon of vinegar to some milk and let it set. And it'll clabber up and let's see, see that pulled away a little bit. So I'm gonna put it in the cornmeal. And my cornmeal is what's seasoned. And then we're gonna put it here on that rack. And once I get them all done, we'll fry them up. So I'm just doing one tomato. Um, so I've got them ready to go into my oil over here. Here in our hot oil. I like to use peanut oil 
And we're going to cook that till they're brown. We're going to turn them over and cook them some more till they're nice and tender. They're going to be good. Now, traditionally, you would serve this with um, a romalade sauce. You'd make that. Um, I like to use just my mayonnaise and sriracha. Just make me a, a hot mayonnaise and like to dip it in that. So we'll take a look at that in just a minute when they're ready. All right, I'm ready to turn these over. Move you a little closer here. You can kind of see. They're brown around the edges. Just gonna flip them over. A little hot, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Let those go a couple of minutes. And we'll take them out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take these out. let these cool. Got just a little bit longer on my cornbread here. I'll flip it over. A little fried green tomato here. So I'm going to cut me a little piece. what they look like on the inside. They've got a lot of water in them, so it's, they're really hot. Get that cool. Like I said, make you a little sauce with some mayonnaise and sriracha or Louisiana hot sauce. It's really good. Or like uh, um, onion blossom dip from um, Outback. Yeah, that's good too. All right, let's try this. Mm. That's good. It's got that tang um, that you want in a nice fried green tomato. So this is a great accompaniment. To the, white, the white beans and okra and our smoked chicken and got our cornbread our pantry challenge meal on this winter evening um, if you're doing a pantry challenge I hope that you're doing well and getting that pantry empty and ready for springtime and summer when we can fill it up again remember check out the three rivers challenge Jessica at her uh, Three Rivers Homestead. Um, and she talks about, you know, how she does her pantry challenge and how she plans all her meals. I'm not quite as strict about, you know, if I need to go to the grocery store, I'll go. We'll eat out some. But it's just two of us, and I am. I'm trying to clear my pantry out. So uh, get cooking. Bye, y'all.